clean off my board, get my area ready for the next assembly portion. Check my risotto again. I think we're in good shape, folks. Just going to put that vent on a little bit. We don't want to smoke out the house. We want these just nicely seared. See how they're nicely browned on one side? Checking always the risotto, checking the risotto. A little more stock. It's cooking down nicely. Can't go too fast with this. Okay, browned on that side. Going to move that right up here. I've got my puff pastry, two sheets. Let's get rid of this smoking pan. Check the risotto again. Always oh, adding a little more stock. Okay, I think we can kill the fan. Now, we need an egg for our egg wash. Make sure you have a pastry brush on hand. all your ingredients lined up. Special treat for this. I have some pâté de foie gras, which is some wonderfully cooked fattened duck liver and all these little black specks in here are highly prized black truffle. Recently saw these black truffle in, um, in a market and they were in a a, a clear uh, plexiglass box sitting on a bed of rice so that they're cushioned and they don't get bruised. And there were some nice truffles. They weren't even that large. They were about uh, maybe the size of a silver dollar, a bit bigger perhaps, but sometimes you can get large truffle like a potato. And there was a price on them, $999 a pound. The pâté de foie gras or regular straight foie gras can be $60, $80 a pound if you're buying the absolute best A grade. And of course the addition of the truffle makes this a very elegant dish. Check our risotto again. A little bit more liquid. Okay, and now here we go. I'm going to build two of these. I put down first some of my pâté de foie gras, truffle laced of course. Not, nothing but the best for you guys. This is Westfield, the culinary mecca of New Jersey. Then we put our filet mignons on top. Not to forget our mushroom duxelle, which goes right on the top. You see we're just layering this. And then with our egg wash, 
we need to just go right around the perimeter. Now I cut this piece of puff pastry, so it was a large sheet. I cut it into four so I could make nice individuals. You can of course do this with a whole filet mignon, but I like to do it with individuals so that everyone gets their own piece. Check the risotto. Can't do anything too long without checking the risotto. Okay, jumping back and forth a whole lot, I'm sorry. But this will be wonderful, I promise. Now we take this and we just stretch these corners out a little bit and tuck this right in on all sides. Then we tuck over and stretch these little side pieces up and over so that it's completely encased in this puff pastry. Put that on our tray. F1. Here's our second one. Again, we tuck those corners up and over. These little corners tuck in and stretch these little sides out just so we can, again, encase it totally. Grab it with your hand and just kind of coddle it over so all that tucked together bit is underneath and then so that it browns up nicely we want to brush these We don't want this dripping all over, but we want to brush them nicely, which is going to help this to get a wonderful, rich, golden color. And then we're going to pop them right in the oven. Okay, these are lovely. right in the oven. We're ready to go back to risotto. Now, with the risotto, we're going to add some brie. I'm not a big fan of the rind of brie, although it is edible. So I buy this wonderful brie that's already creamed in a container. It's a brie spread. It has no rind, so it just makes things a lot easier. This is going to be stirred in the end of the risotto. It's going to make it just uh, to die for, to die for. We are going to put some Parmesan cheese in as well. And we have our lobster and our shrimp. We sauteed off the shrimp a little bit ahead so that we could add it at the end because we don't want it to all cook for the entire time of the risotto. So we saute the shrimp, have the lobster pre-cooked. At the very end, we add it back in. This way, it's cooked perfectly. It's slightly rewarmed when it goes back into the risotto, and there's no worry about the shrimp or the lobster getting overdone. Let me just pick my shrimp out here. And actually, I don't think I'm going to do anything with that shrimp. It's a, a nice size, but the lobster, look at, we've got some entire claws. I am going to have to chop that up a bit. Oops, here's another shrimp. And all this wonderful lobster meat. Just rinse my fingers off a bit. Check the risotto again. Oh yes, this is coming wonderful. No more stock. Yep, my trusty spoon. Remember the one I put away because I had it in my mouth. So we'll take a little of this and just 